In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of how to do an accessibility analysis in Access Mod. So I'm here in the data module, and I'm assuming that you've already uh, imported all the data and that you have created the land cover merge. If you haven't done so, you can uh, look at the previous video or look on section 5.5.2 to do this land cover merge. So I'm turning to the analysis uh, section here. And the first tool here is the accessibility analysis, whose goal is really to get a raster of the travel time to the nearest facility according to a given travel scenario. So I'm going through this uh, module and I'm going to do this uh, analysis together. Uh, there are some data inputs, of course, that you have to uh, tell Access Mode to work with. The first one is the land cover merge that you've obtained in uh, the previous uh, tool, which is in the toolbox. And you can see now it populated this table here with the six different class or categories in my raster, three classes from one to three of my land cover, and three classes of roads, 1001, 2, and 3, uh, and we'll turn back to this table in a while. Now, the second uh, data input that you have here, the scenario table, this is actually empty because you haven't used a uh, scenario table. We're going to construct it, so we don't have any choice here. And the third input that you have here is the existing health facility layer that you have imported in Access Mod. We've named it facilities, it's here. So if I select it, uh, you can see that uh, now in this table, we have the facilities and we'll look at it in a moment. So the first thing we're going to look at is the travel scenario table. We have to construct the table, uh, construct this scenario in this table, in access mode. Uh, we also have the choice to actually construct it, prepare it outside of the access mode in Excel, for example, and then import this table uh, before using the accessibility analysis. But for this exercise, and again, the details uh, for it is found in uh, section 553 in the tutorial, we're going to give uh, specific speeds for this class of land cover and walking, uh, different walking modes. So I'm going to uh, populate this table according to uh, the tutorial. So uh, the speeds in kilometer per hours for the build tower will be six, four here for uh, low dense vegetation and two for dense vegetation. And uh, for this exercise in the built area, we've decided to uh, have a mode of travel that is motor that is bicycling so using a bike or a, um, a vehicle that looks like a bike like in taxi bicycle in some uh, in some cities so you see you have the choice basically between three modes uh, walking bicycling and motorized walking and bicycling are modes that can be affected by the slope if you choose a, an isotropic model as we are going to see. So I'm keeping the walking uh, model for my low dense vegetation and dense vegetation. And for my roads, I'm assuming here in this model that the populations where they reach a road, then they take a motorized vehicle. So I'm choosing motorized here for the roads and for the speed, I'm having 180 and then 50 kilometers per hour on the tertiary road. So this is my travel scenarios. I've constructed it. And this is the one I'm going to use for this uh, analysis. And this scenario will be saved in access mode so that next time you uh, come back to this specific analysis or another analysis, you will have access to this scenario, which can also be exported as an Excel file. Now there are a few uh, settings here that uh, I need to uh, choose. 
The type of analysis, you see that I have two types, isotropic and anisotropic. Isotropic is uh, basically where you decide that the slope uh, that does not have any effect on the speed of travel. So basically the, the DEM, the digital elevation model, is not used in that case to compute slope and your walking speed or your bicycling speed will not change depending on the slope. The anisotropic analysis uses the DEM to compute slope and these slopes will change, uh, will correct the speed of walking and the speed of bicycling depending on that slope. And if you want details on how it does that, please refer to the manual. So when you choose an anisotropic analysis, which is what we're going to do now, you then have to choose the direction of travel. Because of course, if you're going downhill or uphill, it will have a different effect on the speed correction. So you have the choice uh, between towards facilities, which is the default. So here you're assuming that uh, you are modeling the accessibility of people moving from their home towards the facilities. But you can also uh, do the analysis from the inverse direction, from the facilities towards uh, the homes or towards outside of the facilities. So in this tutorial, we'll choose towards facilities. And then you uh, can choose a maximum travel time. By default here, it's set to 120 minutes, two hours. So that means that after when this time is reached in the analysis, the analysis will stop. And then you'll get only uh, a final raster of travel time that will stop at 120 minutes. Now, you need to know that if you put zero here, uh, this means that it's an unlimited travel time. So you will basically compute the travel time over the full surface of your area. And this is usually very useful when you want to explore um, different statistics, not only at 120, but at three hours, four hours and more. And this is what we're going to do here. We are going to put zero so that we have a full um, travel time raster. And I can now also give a name to my uh, outputs. There will be several outputs of this analysis. So I will simply uh, put accessibility analysis and I put full because I'm having this analysis on the full extent of my uh, area. And now the final table that you see here is the facility table. So in the facility shape file, we have 10 facilities. This is the, the rows that you see here. And the attribute table of the my shape file is found here. All these columns here are found in the attribute table of my shape file. Access mod adds um, also three additional layers uh, here, actually four. And you see these layers have a AM prefix to them, so you know that it's access mod that I've added them. And this, uh, some of these columns are, are informative here. The AM on barriers inform you whether you have a facility that falls on a barrier pixel. If it is the case, you have a yes here, and you cannot launch the analysis because you cannot use facilities that fall on barrier because they will not be reached by um, the accessibility algorithm. So if it would be the case, you have two choices. You can either change that, move the facilities out of the barriers, and there is a dedicated module for that on the toolbox in Access Mod, or you can simply deselect it so that the analysis will not use it. And the column on the right here, RM on zero, also tells you uh, if you have facility that falls on pixel for which you have set a zero speed of travel. If I come back to my uh, scenario table, I am allowed here to put zero as a speed of travel because, for example, I would like to uh, uh, mimic some uh, flooded roads on which you cannot um, you, you cannot have your, a car 
going through or flooded area or any other area. So if it's the case, again, um, access mod cannot reach a facility uh, that is found on a zero speed pixel. And so again, you can deselect it uh, before launching the analysis. And of course, for this exercise, for the tutorial, uh, everything is okay, so we'll select all of them. And you see this, uh, this tool up here is a very handy tool to um, uh, make selections, unselect, deselect some of this facility here, which is very handy when you have hundreds of thousands of them. You can play with this. And as an example, I can, uh, I can show you uh, how to select uh, automatically all the health centers. So what you first need to do is to unselect everything here. And then you can choose uh, uh, one of the column, HF type, and you construct your request equal health center. And then you press select and it will select only uh, the health centers. So I'm now going to uh, hit the all button to select everything to launch my analysis. Now I'm ready to launch the analysis. Success mode gives you several pieces of information here, uh, warning you that of course you've traveled a, you've chosen a, um, a maximum travel time, unlimited, and, and other information on the required memory. Uh, everything is green, so I can launch my analysis now. I click the compute button, and uh, access mode is processing. It's already finished access mode gives you this uh, information window that tells you that uh, there's actually um, three outputs here that has been produced and if now i'm going back to the data module uh, these outputs are here added in that table but there is a handy way to uh, look to have a look only at this uh, new data set if i go on the filter here this button filter last analysis only if i click on it then it will only select those three um, uh, outputs that have been just produced and then i can decide to uh, archive them and to export them and i'm just going to show you how to do that by just selecting the two main uh, outputs here which are the tables of my scenario and this raster travel time here. Now, in order to open them either uh, in, in Excel or in my GIS package, I need to export them out of the Access Mode virtual machine. So to do that, you need to go to Archive, and you can create an archive, a zip file of these two uh, data sets here, just by clicking on Create Archive. Now it's uh, creating this archive, zipping this, and this archive is now uh, created. You can see its name here, and I just need to hit the export archive. Now, if I do that, it really depends on uh, your web browser and the way you set it up. It can either uh, export it and save it in a default folder or ask you where to save it. In my case, if I put export, it you know gives me the opportunity to decide where to save it on my machine and I can of course change the name of this archive. So I'm just uh, saving it here. I can then unzip it, open it and then use my GIS software or other software to use them.